Hey, what is up guys? Kita Rock here. Welcome back to another counter side video. This is about the global patch. Uh, let's talk about what global will be having this week. Quite a lot of good things happening. Uh, we're going to have the Black Friday sale that I just saw. Uh, but some of these things have already come to Caesar. So I can just show you guys straight up what are we, uh, you know, going to be experiencing. So let's have a look at the patch notes. Let's jump into it. Alright. So, uh, first things first. Apparently, same thing happens. Uh, you're going to have to download an additional 3.5 GB download due to the Unity update. So this is something that you guys have to keep in mind. Uh, if you guys are using mobile data, right, make sure you guys be wary of this. 3.5 GB, just use Wi-Fi will be straight up better. So let's talk about uh, a couple of new things. Number one is squad name customization. Now you can change name however you please, which I think is a good plus. Uh, just change it to team uh, you know, team dive, team this, team that, always a very good thing. Relic equipment filter add-on. So despite uh, previously we don't have this, now we're going to have normal gear, exclusive gear, relic gear. Alright, so that's going to be a different category altogether. Gauntlet ups and bands have been updated. If you guys are not aware, C just had this. So up units, now we have 4 units as opposed to 3. And then you're also gonna, bands is gonna get nerfed even more. So decreased damage, increased damage taken stats are extra stats on the original damage calculation equation. Uh, equation, right? The band units will not receive the leader bonus as well. So, yeah. Now band units get punished even more. If you still use them, a lot of things are gonna be like nerfed even more. So when you, you can see right here, when attacking, the de decreased damage given. When defending, increased damage taken. Uh, attack speed and skill haste are going to be increased. So band 1, that means minus 10% for all the stats above, all right, except 10% uh, increase for increased damage taken. So if you are band 1, oof. Now band 2, minus 15%, uh, plus 15% increased damage taken. Extra bands after the second penalty will be minus 5% and plus 5% for increased damage taken. Wow. Okay, so the policy for Gauntlet score reset after a season has been updated. The reset will be based on the league the CEO was in when the season ended. Alright, so strategy, uh, this is as follows. Rank battle challenger to master for etc etc. Strategy UI improvement. Okay, this is something that I want to talk about. C server just had this. This is so cool! This is such a massive update. Look at this. The thing that players have been whining about, now they have changed it. Now you can straight up see all the TB characters here, so you know who you are fighting against without going inside. So I know this guy is using a bunch of soldier team, so I'm just going to fight him, right? So without you needing to go and check every single one, this is a huge quality of life. Huge, massive, insane. Now counter side is going to be fun again for a lot of players that don't like to do much PvP, right? You just want to like do PvP as part of your dailies. Now, now that this is here, man. I think this is going to be a big plus for a lot of uh, a lot of you guys out there. I don't know how many of you guys out there like maybe just more casual. You prefer to play other games. I can understand that, right? So this is definitely going to be big bonus for you know to save your time in your dailies. Definitely every single day you're gonna save like five to ten minutes. You know checking less and stuff. So uh, rank battles matchmaking system has been updated. When a certain matchmaking time has passed for a player. Rank Grandmaster 3 and above the matchmaking system will then also start considering the combat point as a factor to find an opponent. Combat point is the, the power level. So that's cool, I guess. A notification pop-up will show when one or more units are not uh, equipped with an item. Okay, so basically they, are t they will tell you if one of the characters that you have do not have any equipment. That is a pretty cool feature. They will... This is so good. I sometimes forget to, because you always swap gears around, sometimes you forget to use swap back the gears. And this is such a cool reminder, right? Gauntlet link information has been updated as well. Uh, ship balancing, or say, we've talked about this on C server. Enterprise carrier type will have the cast time decreased by 20%. And then you'll have this particular thing, right? Where the uh, decreased enemy skill haste by decreased by 30% for 10 seconds. This is for up to level 5, uh, this for the ultimate skill. So I think Enterprise Carrier Type might be better now against counter units. You have to run Soldier to counter counters to be able to decrease enemy skill haste by 30%. That is a lot. That is a lot of de decrease. Uh, even though it's only for 10 seconds, but it's a big bonus for you to rush down the enemy, I guess. So Glebnate Port Type, uh, instead of, you can see right here, clearly it's like 
percentage base, but now they're changing it to flat increase evasion. I'm not sure if this is better. I'm assuming this is a buff, but it doesn't seem like it's better. So we, we're gonna need to test that out, all right? And also this one, uh, the damage taken. Uh, this one is still the same, I think. These flames amplify the enemy's damage taken by 25% for 8 seconds. Wait, I think it's supposed to increase, yeah, to 12 seconds. So 8 to 12 seconds, that's for the ultimate skill. A uh, new skin step in the interior has been added. Operator skills cannot be cancelled after the update. This is so cool. Uh, a lot of operator, the skill cannot be cancelled. So that's going to be a big bonus. And then the BGM thing. Management guide. Ma guide on knockback is added to the management guide. Okay, so guide on knockback with the Awaken Horizon update. So if you guys haven't seen yet, Awaken Horizon is coming to global server. Damn, I'm so excited for Awaken Horizon. Uh, I'm guessing I'll be pulling for her since there's no need to save for our uh, tickets, right? For basically any of the characters. She is very, very cool. Uh, she's going to like affect a lot of, you know, a lot of PvP meta units to shift completely because she's going to be so strong in PvP. I do think that Rush Com is going to be so strong with Awaken Horizon. I might have a dedicated video out if I have time to make one for Awaken Horizon specifically. But yeah, uh, we're also going to have the part 2 Uncrying. If you can afford to pull for Awaken Horizon, definitely vouch for her. Uh, she's decent in PvE as well. Uh, although I do think PvE Awaken Lee Suyun, uh, Replace the Queen, Awaken Suyun, they are more versatile. But Awaken Horizon, not bad. Alright, you can definitely use her in some places like Danger Close, uh, in like uh, Shadow Hall, Shadow Palace. Maybe in raids, she won't be as strong. And because she will go to front, right? Because of her abilities. Alright, we're gonna have this new event called the Jehuti Biotech Elimination Operation. Uh, this one is a collective server effort, so make sure everybody logs in and do this. So if everybody gets to the max points, you will get the 30 points, and you get a specific uh, extra gear from this key. You can buy this key every single day. I'll have a more detail, maybe I'll make a more detailed guide when it comes out, right? And then we also get the Awaken, uh, not Awaken, the regular Jake uh, Bingo costume for free all right this is pretty cool make sure you guys participate this is going to be easily doable should be free for almost everyone so this is a cool jake with a handbag wow jake walker with a handbag why not like how often do you see a dude with a handbag right so i think it's a pretty cool a uh, pretty cool one uh what else do we have so alongside with that Black Friday is here, so if you are interested, you can basically spend to get more of this. Use a total of 1,000 admin coins uh, to be able to get back some of the admin coins. This is a pretty interesting overall, uh, what do you call that, event if you are a spender. But if you are free to play, probably this won't affect you. Now, Awaken Unit reruns. We have plenty of Awaken Unit reruns. So if you are thinking to not want to pull for Awaken Horizon, you have other options. You have Awaken Hilde, she's right there. You have Awaken Mina. She's right there. I don't recommend these two because they are always in the selector. Awaken Yuna is right here as well. Again, don't recommend her. She should be available in the next selector. Uh, Awaken Lee Suyan. Alright, so she's going to be there. Uh, Awaken Na Yu Bin. We have Replacer King. And we have Replacer Queen. Which is not loading for whatever reason. Like, why is it not loading? Okay, there. Replacer Queen. Awaken Seo Yun is there. Ministra is there. I might pull Awaken Seo Yun for my account because I don't have her yet. And she's going to be quite helpful in raids. Uh, Lina McKenzie for Operator, Moneka, uh, and Lucky Black Friday. This is an event exclusively that you can just log in and get all of this. And Overflow Glitch Machine Collector will be added to the standard pool. Alright, so overall, these all are pretty cool. I would say quite a lot of big update coming to Global. Some of this has arrived in C as well. So yeah, hopefully, hopefully, uh, this will... You know, invigorate and give you guys the ability or give the game some life, right? Hopefully people will be more excited, especially the strategy battle. That one is, I think that one is quite a massive update for me. I don't know about you guys. Let me know what you guys think of the overall update in the comment section below. As always, subscribe if you haven't already. Give this video a like. I will see you guys in the next one. Have a nice day. Goodbye.